So after uh, two and a half, almost three years, we're finally doing a shop tour. But first, we gotta go to the dump. Hey babe, where's the key to the van? I'm running to the dump. I saw the, um, the aquarium. Not today. You wanna um, go to the dump with me? Sure. All right, let's go. Okay, so welcome to the shop. Uh, you guys have been here a bunch of times, and we're gonna go actually around and talk about stuff. This might be a little bit longer video than normal. One thing I want to say right off the bat is I've never been a huge fan of shop tours and the reason why is I think in some way it might discourage people and I don't want that to be the, the, the case. I hope it motivates people. You know, the bottom line is if, if you got a handsaw and a hammer, you can do woodworking. Uh, so, you know, you see shop full of tools out here on, online, you know, whether we're guys or gals doing our, our little shop tours. I, I hope it's a motivator, not not one of those things that discourages people. I know every re everybody's budget's different, everybody's resources are different. Um, so, you know, just kind of take that into the equation as we go around here. Uh, I am a firm believer in, you know, if, if, if all you have is a hammer and a chisel, you know, get out there and do some woodworking. So um, let's talk about the uh, my shop first of all. I have everything in here pretty much painted green and orange and I... <laughs> For me, those colors make me feel comfortable. They make me feel creative, I guess, if that makes any sense. So it, it's kind of, I've created an atmosphere for myself, for my personality. It makes me want to be out here. So as far as workflow goes, it's pretty, it's pretty somatic. Garage door is here. All my uh, real woods go right here up on the shelf and then right straight to the, the chop box and we'll get over there in a second. So everything comes in here and all my milling is kind of set up right here real, real with uh, easy access. And then plywood over there by the CNC machine, and we'll get all we'll get to all that. But uh, first of all, let's start with my sanding station. I have a um, disc sander. It's an eight-inch disc sander I made out of a vegetable juicer or fruit juicer. And then behind all this uh, wood here is my um, pneumatic sander. And the pneumatic sander is actually one side is a, a bladder that you can uh, pump up with air or let air out of to get to a certain consistency if you're, if you're doing profiles and then the flap wheel on this side and then I did a video on this and I have dust collection behind it. All the dust you're seeing is actually from a routing project I had the other day. Now I was going to go ahead and clean, clean it up the whole shop but then that really wouldn't be a true shop tour because my shop is a working shop. I am always working on projects. Uh, pr you probably only see uh, you know 20-25% of what I do in here on YouTube. So. Um, over here, I've got a small one inch by 30 inch uh, belt sander. I use this for when I'm you know, making gears or sanding small parts. And then here I've got the uh, rigid oscillating belt sander um, combination. I typically have the belt sander in here. Uh, I do have the oscillating in here at the moment, but as you can tell, any flat surface in here gets used. If, so I've just got some parts sitting on it right now. Not, not one of the tools that I use a lot in my shop. Next to it, I've got this is all my screw bits, or all my screw bits, all my uh, screws. So each one of these is, this, this is the fast cap uh, screw bags. I love these things. Um, this isn't a product video, I'm just telling you, I love them. So I've got uh, my, my power head screws in one, I've got my SPAX screws in the other, and then I've got my metal screws in there. And then miscellaneous screws and stuff are actually sitting over here, nails, uh, screws, that sort of thing. And then also behind here, you'll see, this is kind of where I keep the finishes I use all the time. I, I just started recently using pure color finishes, uh, really friendly to use, so I love those finishes. And then on top of here, you see my KISS drill bit systems. I actually have three KISS drill bit systems, well two, and then I just bought an extra storage compartment that I use to put miscellaneous stuff in. And some clamps, my pocket hole machine, and then my, uh, my homemade corner clamps are back there. Let's go ahead and move on over to my favorite tool in the shop. There's Bob, you see Bob? That's Bob the dinosaur, or what's left of him. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Dad builds his son a dinosaur, that was a fun video. Okay, so this is the Bosch articulating arm chop saw. I've had this thing now for, I wanna say nine months. Um, it is easily the best chop saw I've ever used. And I'm not gonna go into great detail on it because at some point we'll actually do a full video on this saw. Um, first of all, the biggest thing for me is storage. It is such a huge space saver um, with, I forget what it is, 22 inches. I can put this on a bench that's 22 inches deep and it's good. 
So I actually have this bench at 26 inches deep. As far as power goes, this thing will eat through anything. It's very accurate. You can set it and forget it. You don't have to worry about tweaking it. Once you dial it into 45, it's on 45. So uh, I really enjoyed having this saw. And I will say, getting it took a little bit to get used to it because I mean, this thing, I mean, it moves so easy. They have an adjustment on it so you can tighten it down, but I really wanted to get used to it just the way it sat. And now that I am, I absolutely love it. I use the best fence system from FastCap for my um, for my chop box fence, and I love it. I love it. Super simple, super easy. If I need to, let me move the camera down here. Real fancy camera editing today. If I need to, I can just pop this off. Boom. It's, it's out of the way and I can move on with my life and it's, it's just as easy to put it back on. So that's, this is definitely one of, one of my favorite fence systems that I've ever used. Uh, it's, again, this is, it's a premium product. It's not something you're gonna go out and pick up for 50 bucks. You know, it, it, the system is awesome, but I think probably for me, it's worth it. Once you buy it, you've got it for life. This thing will last forever. Um, so I, I like it. I'm glad to have it in the shop. So over here, I've got my, you see my ductwork coming down from my air collect, my dust collection system. I've got my uh, secondary milling tools. I've got the drill press and the bandsaw. I just keep a 14 inch bandsaw. Uh, for me personally, I've never really had a need for anything bigger than that. I am getting into some ideas and projects that may require me to upgrade that and I, I'm, I'm looking around. So maybe at some point that'll, that'll happen. And then my table saw, which is right here, I, I'm not gonna talk much about it. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's it's a POS, so um, not not a real not real happy with this saw. So over here, this is kind of my parts bench, and I also do some tool storage over there. And uh, yes, that's Kaizen foam over there. And <laughs> I have a couple of my routers out of here. I actually keep my my uh, Bosch uh, Colt with the plunge base right here, and then my other Bosch Colt right there. And for those of you who are curious, yes, it holds them up there just fine. And I have two layers of two inch thick Kaizen foam there. And then of course some crazy storage up over above it and below it. But we're not, again, it isn't just stuff. My chainsaw and that other stuff goes over there. Now I will mention that behind my drill press, let me get over here. I keep a lot of bit storage back in there. And then that's uh, Darth Mater over on the corner. He keeps me company in the shop. So over here, you're gonna see the uh, CV1800 from Clearview Cyclones. That thing is a beast. It is easily one of the best machines I've ever owned as far as dust collection goes. And I've owned quite a few over the years. Uh, five horse, five horse motor. And it'll actually cycle 1900 cubic feet of air per every like minute and a half or two minutes. So more or less it'll, it'll uh, I think it's every minute. It will cycle every ounce of air I have in my shop every minute and a half to two minutes literally and then that's all ongoing projects over <laughs> leaning up against it and behind me more kaizen foam and this is kind of like my part part storage area i use the, the shoe boxes from home depot like a dollar and i made a bent over there and then tools that i use a lot actually get go up on the wall and i have another uh kiss drill bit system over on this side for when i'm working in this area and then of course there's my editing system. My computer is always out, is always going, it's always out here. Uh, I, for editing I use an, uh, kind of a geeked out uh, Asus, I guess is how they pronounce it. And then I had two 30 plus inch screens in here but they just took up too much space so I moved them in, inside and I'm building another system in the house. And so I use 224s. I know people are gonna ask about dust getting on the computer. I, it's been in here for a, over a year. I never have any trouble with it. I blow it off once in a while. Um, of course, it is a liquid cooled system. It doesn't have a fan. Well, I shouldn't say that. I don't honestly know if it has a fan, but I know it's liquid cooled. This is, I've done, actually done a video on this. This is my Bosch uh, shop vac. This is a beast. I've had this next to a Festool and it kicked the baloney out of the Festool. So it was, it's just a wonderful shop vac. It is not cheap. This is definitely a premium tool. Hey, it's like the 7, 9, 750 range or something like that. And then probably my pride and joy is my digital wood carver. This is my uh, CNC. It has a 24 by 40 inch cutting radius. I've got the, Bo the Bosch 2.25 horse motor in it. Uh, it's a 12 amp motor. This thing makes short work of, you know, 
doing all the CNC stuff. Uh, I've had this now for, gosh, I want to say since last fall, and I, I love this machine. I did not buy the CNC for YouTube videos. I purchased that for work that I do outside of YouTube, and I, I have seen shown it in a couple of videos, but for the most part, I use this tool every single day a lot and it's for mostly stuff that I do offline. And then, of course, when it's not being used, any flat surface is, it can fall victim to getting stuff clicked up on it. And then, of course, there's the under, under storage. I have a little 12 inch uh, surface planer, uh, some other hand tools that I use continuously. So a couple of projects going on. I'm rebuilding uh, part of the Bulldog, if you saw that video a while back. I, uh, the body and everything is still together. I'm actually just, changing the way it all mounts mounts onto the system and then this will actually be going back to Bosch or going to Bosch here shortly so that will be um, Weird Acts of Science is actually going to be here this Saturday to uh, check that thing out so that'll be out and about riding around which will be fun and then that goofy thing right there is a project I'm working on that's not for YouTube it's offline uh, I'll actually use that in some Twitch upcoming Twitch hangouts. If you guys want to watch me on Twitch, you'll see what that's about. And then I made some, I had some extra, so I just screwed it to my sable saw for no reason. And then last but not least, this is kind of my catch-all station. I had used, I was using it for milling down parts, but or sanding and that sort of stuff. But I found that I never used it, so I actually stuck my welder in there, and then it's just kind of a catch-all for stuff that I haven't got a home for, and will eventually try and find a home for it. I do still use this from time to time, and it's nice in the morning. I'll pull it out, or I'll stick a router over there in the vise. Hey everybody, so that's that's pretty much it. And you know, the reason I'm doing a shop tour after not doing one for almost three years on YouTube is because we are actually getting ready to move. In a few months, we're gonna be moving out of here. Uh, we're purchasing a larger piece of property. I'm putting up a larger shop. I have things that are going on off YouTube that are requiring me to have more space. So that's happening. Uh, that'll be happening quick. But the nice thing about that is it'll also mean a lot more projects around the farm, chicken coops, furniture builds, all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, we'll always find some kind of creative way to make it, make it uh, cool. I do want to say thank you very much for you know for watching and for those of you who have been around from the beginning thank you so much and for those of you who are brand new you know thank you so much it really means a lot to to be able to put this out and have it shared and watched thanks for watching guys i will talk to you all real soon with more projects see you later alligator